Welcome to Team Amation Show, Speak Nerdy to Me. My name is Ann Campia, and joining me is my better half, Corey Takei. Hey, everybody. Not the better half. Uh, she's the better half, but... Uh, I, I beg to differ. She's the better half. But yeah. we are here, obviously, <laughs> in separate rooms, but together once again to bring you guys Speak Nerdy to Me on our channel, Team Amation, um, to talk about all things nerdy and just super excited to be back from this hiatus that we've been on. Corey... Happy that you're back. Happy that we're back. Um, obviously, back. we're not in one room, but we will be together at some point in this, in this um, as we relaunch Team Amazing and come mm -hmm. back to you guys with a lot of nerdy stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a while. Like, we've always wanted to come back. It was just life gets in the way, you know, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll work on improving. And we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. So. I know. Five more okay. people. Five more we're almost there it was such a tremendous run like before we had to go on this short break you know so five more subscribers you guys get us there we are so happy to be back we will be putting up all the videos that we can and um yeah, yeah. so you know this is going to be one of those unconventional speak nerdy to me since it's our first one back mm -hmm. obviously um we usually love to talk about movies tv video games comic books whatever we want to talk about Corey and i will talk about but for the first one back, you know, we just wanted to just kind of just reconnect with you guys. Obviously, um, it's been a little bit of a break for Team Amazing. Um, on my part, I just wanted to throw it out there. I think some of you guys might have heard through social media, but um, I had a life event happen where my dad actually landed in the hospital for several weeks and um, actually is still there today. So there's just a very, very long run of events that are happening with my father, but um, I had to take the time off, obviously, to make sure that I'm home, spending time with the family, making sure that I'm there for my mom and my siblings and taking care of him. And so I just appreciate everybody's love and support for that. It's obviously been such a interesting and trying time for myself and for my family. But again, it's it's the, the love that and support I feel from you guys, from Corey, of course, and um, just all of my friends and, and, you know, even my coworkers who have all kind of just stepped in and helped out as we've been going through this. So I really appreciate you guys, you know, um, understanding uh, and uh, Corey, big shout out to Corey, obviously, for understanding and allowing us to take this break in Team Amazion. Obviously, I've missed it desperately, but um, like Corey said, things happen in life and you kind of just have to take that time for yourself. So um, thank you guys so much again. Um, apologize for the break but we are back and i'm super happy for that corey anything going on in your life that you wanted to um, I mean, share with the world <laughs> I mean, my life is i to, to sum up I, it it was a break that i think we both um didn't want to take but we both kind of felt like we had to take because of other things in our lives and uh i you know i don't talk too much about my private life, but ever since I came back from Japan early in 2016 from a visit, I have been feeling really down and almost depressed about a lot of things. Um, so it, it's been a, it's been hard for me, and I'm I'm slowly getting back on my feet. So so this is this is a good opportunity for Team Amazing to rise again. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I think I. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of those things where just life happens and you yeah. kind of just have to live with it. you just have it. to, like, deal. I feel that, like, you you can't always just sit there and pretend everything's rosy. Sometimes you just got to deal, deal with it or um, just accept, like, not your suffering. It's so Buddhist of me. But, um, like, you just got to um, let yourself go through the motions in order to heal again and come back stronger. Because I do, I do, I start thinking, I'm seeing that when you, when you realize that you've been hurt or that things aren't going your way or you feel discouraged or unmotivated or whatever the case, like you find other things and it makes you stronger. Like anything that pounds you down, like you f eventually find that strength and be like, well, fuck that. I'm, I'm going to be stronger, you know? Oh, yeah. So. 100%. Truly, truly believe that. Truly support you. And I'm sure That's everybody you. else is behind you as well. Yeah, hopefully soon we'll be in the same room. Um, 
haven't gotten to spend enough time with you. It's like crazy because it's already mid-April and we've only spent seeing each other maybe like six times or something. I know. I know. It's insane. It's just, yeah. like I said, this is one of those things where life, life <laughs> happens. But I mean, you guys have all, you know, 995 subscribers of you have been all kind of been waiting for us to be back. And we're super, super duper happy to be back. Um, and hopefully we get to that five more subscribers. <laughs> I know. I know. Welcome to the start a YouTube channel to follow us. <laughs> yeah, she would. You're right. I'm going and to then, and then five two more. more three. Yeah. <laughs> have five Wakame's subscribe to us and we'll get it. <laughs> yeah, like a fluffy Wakame and this bad haircut Wakame. <laughs> is, is, she, is she, does she want to be on camera or what? Oh, well, well, you, guys, you guys, this is a tragic. Wakame, come here. She's kind of passed out. Oh, I'm grabbing her. Oh my gosh, she's flipping over. <laughs> so she's, my dog has had a bad haircut. It's not bad. She's still cute. She just looks like like the, the teddy bear from oh sorry sorry the teddy bear from um the, the detergent sheet. Oh, she does uh, snuggles. Yeah, so cute. Because she's black. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Walker. You're still cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have, you know, obviously, since we're not doing our regular rundown of topics, we thought we'd put together some of the things that have been happening during our um, hiatus, obviously, some personal stuff going on with both of us. But there have been some cool experiences that we've had. Obviously, um, if you guys follow us on Instagram or Twitter, you've seen that we've gotten to go to a few cool events together lately one in one in particular both of us being out in dallas together for wrestlemania crazy like <laughs> if you think Anne and kaori were in dallas together at wrestlemania it's pretty amazing yeah i Eating know southern, southern food and, and yeah exactly and you know yeah. we we desperately wanted to like count down to wrestlemania and then all these things hit obviously but um, for those of you that were following us on Instagram and Twitter, you saw that we were there. We got to enjoy the event. We were in Dallas, like Corey said, a place we would never have probably chosen to travel together to be together in. Um, oh, but we did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, I, I honestly had a lot of fun. I mean, I didn't know what to expect in terms of the actual events because I've been mm -hmm. hearing, you know, everybody's injured you know the, all these people have had to come in and replace people and so I was skeptical about how the actual event would go but I actually really truly enjoyed Wrestlemania this year I do too and uh, I think a lot of people preferred last year's Wrestlemania but I preferred this one uh, I, I think just I think WWE was like all right there's all these people injured all our main superstars are gone we all ha we have like a shit ton of mid carters so we, we, we got to bring out Shawn Michaels. We've got to bring out Stone Cold. We've got to bring out, you know, um, yeah. The Rock and make Cena, like, back him up. Like, they, they, they did a lot of things. Like, We've got to make this belt, this Divas belt, a, a new women's champion belt now. Like, they, they stepped up their game to make up for um, what was leading up to, like, a eh, WrestleMania. I mean, Shawn, I'm not Shawn, sorry, Shane, Shane and um, Taker. I mean, that was an excellent match. And yeah. You know, like, I, I think WrestleMania was a really good show. It was solid. No, that's a good, that's a great point. I didn't even think about it that way, Corey. But the fact that probably they were, you know, backed up into a corner because everybody that they thought would be coming to WrestleMania was in poor health that they had to throw together such a crazy and what unexpectedly great card. Yeah. It, it was a lot of fun, I thought. And like you said, all of the guest appearances, like, I, I think I lost my voice. When Austin oh, and Shawn Michaels, yeah, and Foley, uh, all of them came out. That was really cool. Yeah, and I, I think um, Austin doing the this, this, this stunner on after he was like dancing, he's like, yeah, no, fuck this. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, it was awesome. I could watch that all day. <laughs> <laughs> but Corey has a really cool uh, recap video that she has up on her channel. So if you guys want to check out. Uh -huh. you know, our immediate next day thoughts on the event. Um, and our so immediate thoughts during the event. Yeah, that too. I oh think like God. I teared I'm up like, when that belt was revealed, the women's belt was revealed, I teared up. And I think too. I teared up a couple other moments too. So yeah. you guys should watch that video. 
Yeah, yeah, it was it was great. And yeah, definitely check out Corey's um, recap. It's it's really good. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, and uh, what about those um, like $40 shots that we had? Oh, my God. We had like, how many shots did we have? Because each one was a double. So I guess we had four shots oh. each. Uh, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. But they they were good, I think. No, they were great. It was just, wow. Very, 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 very pricey at that Cowboy Stadium. <laughs> I know, but I mean, I, I needed them. You needed them. Totally worth it. Totally worth it, yeah. So. so then we also, in addition to WrestleMania, we also got to go to Raw. Just, what was that, last week already? Yeah, or exactly. Weeks ago? Yeah. Jeez, time flies. Yeah, we got to go to Raw here at Staples Center. Um, and I actually also enjoyed that. I think my favorite match, Corey, was the one with Charlotte. I think she's becoming oh, my yeah. favorite. That whole story is great. I love it. I love it. And I think I think she's such a good heel. I think she's just... she When she was face and talking on the mic, you just were like, oh my God, turn her heel back. Turn her back to heel. Now she's an asshole and she works so perfectly. And you can see how much Ric Flair loves his daughter. It just... Mm -hmm. I love that storyline, and actually, we we got lucky because Monday Night Raw in LA was a very good Raw. I think. Yeah. Um, we had some pretty pretty good stuff, and uh, yeah, I I always love it. And they, they have a, a WWE live event in LA, and I want to go back. And they have and they have Money in the Bank in Vegas. I oh no, that's perfect. <laughs> like everything about that makes sense. Could Money in the Bank. And it's in Las Vegas. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you have any like early thoughts on who might be winning that? No, I don't because we have what payback coming up, and then we might have one more. Shit, I don't know if we have one more pay per view before that, but I, oh. I so far, so far, maybe <laughs> Cesaro. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's actually, I totally forgot. Cesaro coming back, that was cool, too. Yeah, so maybe Cesaro, because, like, I think because of the, the lack, uh, or maybe some people, more people will be coming back, maybe because their lack of um, talent, they might have to push him a little further than they wanted to. Right. So he's been kind of, like, up and down, up and down, because the fans love him, but someone, I guess, it feels like someone in corporate doesn't like him. Mm. I don't know. But it's not how it always goes. I know. I could see that. But, I mean, the crowd seems to love them. And sometimes, yeah. you know, those breaks are healthy for people. Because when you come back, everyone's like, oh, I miss them. I didn't realize yeah. how much I would miss them. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. Sure. So, well, hopefully we can line up some more wrestling events to, to go to. Money in the Bank in Vegas sounds amazing. I think we need to do that. <laughs> I'm totally down. <laughs> I know, right? Money in the Bank in Vegas. Like, yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> Everything Team Amazion loves in Vegas. <laughs> All right. So next on our list is um, some of our upcoming cons. I laid some help for us, Corey, but I'm not sure what, what exactly we'll be able to obviously commit to. But there are a few oh, coming up here in L.A. Um, L.A. Cosplay Con, which is happening in June. Anime Expo, which is happening in July. And then obviously San Diego Comic Con, which is happening in July as well. We are going to try to make all of them, but sure. there are no guarantees. Um, the, obviously, the big one that I want to go to is San Diego Comic Con. Um, I am determined not to work this year at San Diego yes, Comic Con. Yes, please, please. If I go, I am going to hang out, go to parties, get drunk, not like at 10 o'clock at night be like, I can't do this, I have to edit this video. I have to edit this video. Like, no. I am going to have fun. Yay. So, yeah, we have to make San Diego Comic Con happen. And mm -hmm. because I think that even though we went together, I, I still had to like disconnect a couple times. I don't want it to be like that this year. This year, it's got to be Team Invasion do Comic Con. Hundred yeah. percent. And so, I definitely on that note, Team Invasion will start planning our, you know, Comic Con and upcoming co cosplays for some of the cons. Mm -hmm. um, Lots of good stuff coming up, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and hopefully we we can do some. Um, what I was thinking is some countdown shoots to get to some of these events, which would be really oh, cool. Yeah. We, well, we'll we'll get together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, well, we're making a checklist here, you guys. Yeah, yeah. You, guys you guys are just watching us on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we will announce our upcoming conventions and cosplays as we solidify them, obviously. Make sure you guys follow us on Twitter. Uh, we'll make sure to tweet out information as well as on our Instagram. We also list the conventions and events that we go to. Yeah. So make sure to follow us there as well. Um, next, we have prints online. They're still there. On it's still there. Um, and I think Anne um, uh, mentioned, and I thought this was a solid idea, that we're going to start doing a sale for you guys. So what was the sale? <laughs> spring cleaning. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's spring. We need to clean out. Our, obviously, we're going to um, start printing out some of our newer cosplays. So yes. um, we, want, we want to get those up on the site. But obviously... Um, we love our older ones too and i'm sure you guys do as well so we're i think we're going to put them up for 10 bucks um mm -hmm. just have to change the pricing on the site and then we'll make the announcement on our twitter uh once we do that so hopefully and, and spend that on. On. yeah we we um pr we message them we autograph them we sign them we say something nice in the back you know because we love you yeah and who yeah. doesn't love amazing in mario and luigi i know right so classic <laughs> So classic. So we then, change that one up, but <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So next, movies, TV, anything that we've got going on there. I know there's a lot of movies that have come out, but I'm not sure, Corey, if you've had a chance to see any of. Um, any I have of the not movies. seen a movie since Deadpool. I I thought it's so. Because I know you usually hit me up when you see something and you're like, I hated it or you loved it, you know. I mean, I almost saw BBS, but I went to the wrong theater, as you remember. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's so funny. He's like, uh, we're at the one here. I'm like, oh. <laughs> that yeah. was a mistake that I would have easily made myself. So it is. I mean, it's not where we always go. I went to the one where we always go to. Yeah. So Oh, I totally so don't blame you. You totally saved yourself three hours anyways, according to some people who hated the film. Well, yeah. I mean, the more people talk about it, the less I want to see it because the more they associate it to... If you didn't like Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, you're not going to like Zack Snyder's Batman vs. Superman. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have friends who talk about how the more they think about it, the more they hate it. <laughs> yeah. No, I... I I don't want to see it again. I mean, I didn't hate it, but I don't want it. Like, there's no repeat watch for me. Right, right. So I, I'm, I would rather see like the room or mm. or room, whatever you call it. Or there's just some movies out there that I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing. I can't even think of them right now. But a lot of them are like DVD style movies. Um, actually, oh, just like, I, actually. huh? Go ahead. I was going to say, I, um, this is not movie, this is TV. I've started to like Gotham. Isn't that weird? Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Did you just flip it on and you were like, okay, I'm just going to start watching it? Well, because I'm a hermit and I was like, all right, <laughs> fine. And I walked in like, ah, this, this is Jim Gordon, man. He's, he's interesting. And then they've got all these, you know. <laughs> villains in there oh Butler, oh he's out here right now okay penguin's badass you know mr freeze like the only thing that person that sucks is jada pinkett's character which is ironic because obviously she's oh, yeah i started it's liking Gotham, so sorry john <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, oh, how, like how far are you along um i am not watching it in its series so i'm probably not making making a lot of sense of it i watch it like Oh, it's on demand. Okay, why not? I'll watch this episode. Or oh, it's on Netflix. I'll watch this episode. So it's not yeah. like I'm watching it all in one. Yeah. So I've gotten to that, and also Lucha Underground. I recently started watching it, and I keep telling you, I need to watch it. I it's know. So Damn. How can I watch it again? I know you and Ryan keep telling me. Watch it all way. Um. Actually, uh, our friend Ryan uh, downloaded it. So we can set, share you the, the drive of season oh, one. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Or you can, or what we can do, because there's so many season, episodes in season one, is there is a recap of everything that happened in season one um, online. 
and that's only eight minutes long. And then you and I can just bring go through season two. I'm down. Yeah. Okay, send me that. Okay, <laughs> we'll do that. You'll like it because it's crazy. They do like crazy jumps, and it's like whoa, whoa. But the, the story is there too, right? There's yeah, some the story's story there. Mm-hmm. It's all like soap, PG, weird, like WWE. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, yeah. so another thing to add to the list. Uh, we've got Game of Thrones that's coming back next weekend. Yes, coming back. And so Anne and I will definitely be recapping that. For sure. We are big Game of Thrones oh, junkies. So we so will big. be talking about that as well. Um, anything else? I, I, I kind of have been getting through Daredevil season one, though. Oh, that's good. I mean, I after just, season two. Probably better than Gotham. <laughs> You know what? It was a slow burn to get through, like, at least episode eight, so. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know what it is about Gotham. I was like, oh, I think it's because I, I, I recognize the character so much better. <laughs> you know. That's so funny out of nowhere. Like, oh, I'm watching Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, yeah, Gotham, Gotham. Cool. Uh, so good. Um, I think that will do it in terms of what we had to shoot the shit about. Wow. Yeah. That was quick. Yeah. Well, well, next time we'll do it um, in that couch over there or smoking hookah. Yes. But, um, it changed the setting up from the last. Yeah. Few but Anne and I will definitely be back next week. For sure. Uh, hopefully in the same room. It's, you know, and because I've, I've started working out a lot. So I try to go in the mornings. But if I don't go in the mornings, I get really tired in the evening. So because I have to go in the evening. And that's all I was like. Okay, She's gonna get home <laughs> I'm gonna be exhausted. You know, you be yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then when you're open to sharing, you know, all, all the stuff you're doing in terms of the boot camp and like your your eating and all that cool stuff that you're doing um, for yourself. If you are, obviously, we've got this platform for you to share that with with our yeah. team of people too. It's a, I will, I mean, right now I just started a six week challenge. So there's about 150 people in this challenge and it's, it's uh, you're just kind of like building muscle and there's people from all different shapes and sizes. Some people want to lose weight. Some people want to gain weight. Some people want to build muscle. Myself, I, I want to build muscle. Like, I don't want to look like buff, like fucking, have you seen, um, have you seen Caitlin, by the way, from WWE now? She's no. This- She's so gross looking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're a woman watching this. I'll pull power to you. It takes a lot of work to look like that. It's just not my thing. <laughs> I need to Google that now. <laughs> I, I almost want you to look at it while I talk. Um, but while she looks for, look for Celeste Bonin on Instagram or whatever. I'm like in awe. I was like, oh my God, does she really look like this right now? This is not attractive. Um, but I want to, like, you know, like, I want to be a little bit less muscular than AJ Lee, you know? Um, like, any of the, most of the WWE divas are too, too muscular for me. Mm-hmm. But you remember Caitlyn, right? From WWE, right? I'm just about to, yes. Okay, you remember her, right? <laughs> okay, yes. look at her now. But how do I find what she looks like now? Go to her Instagram, like, Instagram or something. <laughs> Her name's like Celeste Bonin or something. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> She's got like muscles on her muscles. <laughs> yeah, and her her boobs look like fucking m- massage balls. Like crap. Yeah. Very, very far apart. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even look like her anymore. It doesn't look like her. She looks Whoa. a little, a little doo-ish, but anyway, I feel bad yeah. saying that. She worked really hard for her body, props to her, and I, you know, yeah. some people like that, some people want to be like that, and that's great. I, that's not my goal. Uh, my goal is to win at the end of the six-week challenge. What um, you going to do? Yeah, because if I win, I win like $750, Disney tickets, even though, you know, and like other random shit, and... How do we how do we cheer you on? Is there a way we can like cheer you on or vote? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no voting. I just I, I have to like plug in points. That's why you see me checking in every day on Facebook. I'm like, I'm sorry guys, I'm checking in. Because you get oh. 
<laughs> whatever you got to do if, 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 if there's a way for us to vote then we will come on and vote for you <laughs> i mean just follow me on my journey every on instagram and stuff totally inspirational everybody who's looking for that extra motivation obviously follow Corey. she's doing such a great job and now what, what are you on week two yeah i just entered week two there you go so yeah yeah proud of you Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I guess that's going to wrap it up for our, you know, quick we're back video. We yeah. will be, like Lori said, next Monday for kind of a regular style team of Asian speak nerdy to me with our usual topics of the week. We'll also be back um, to recap Game of Thrones. Like Corey said, that's going to be. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm so excited for that. So check out our channel. Get us to a thousand, five more people, you guys. And um, yeah, follow us on Twitter. Instagram, um, all of that good stuff. Are we on Snap? We should be on Snapchat together too. Actually. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Corey, where can people follow you? Yeah, uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitch, and my YouTube channel at K A O R I O U S. Don't forget to go to TeamAmazing.com and grab some prints. Yes, for our spring cleaning sale, $10 <laughs> each. Um, you guys can follow me at Ann Campia on all of those social media networks as well. And don't forget, we've got Wakame as our third honorary member. You can follow her on Instagram, Wakame Chan, is it right? Yeah, and underscore Wakame Chan. <laughs> there you go. So follow all three of us and uh, obviously um, go to teamamation.com and get your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel, YouTube dot com slash team amazing so until next monday you guys um i guess go out there be amazing and we'll see you later